Welcome to Production Expert. In this four part series, we're talking bass. More specifically, plugins that you can use to quickly enhance the sound of bass that aren't EQ. Now we're gonna break from the norm in this series. We usually use music examples in our tutorials to help illustrate our points. Instead, we're gonna show you how each of these plugins work using a simple sine wave and frequency analyzer to give you a visual representation of what each of these plugins are capable of. We're also gonna run through each of these plugins in the series in order of price, cheapest to most expensive. Now we've already taken a look at low air and R bass. Next up, Max Bass, which isn't too dissimilar to R bass. It's a very cool plugin, gives us a very clear visual representation of what's happening. The blue here shows us the original bass audio and the yellow shows us the harmonics, sounds that are higher in frequency created from the original blue bass. So what's all the fuss about Max Bass? Well, just like R bass, we can use this to create upper harmonics that our human ears can pick up on. These types of plugins help us to perceive low sounds better, which is useful for making mixes and tracks sound fuller and weightier on smaller speakers. Let's just put this to work so you can see what's going on here in F6 and Max Bass. So we've got a sine wave here, 150 hertz. Let's increase the Max Bass slider, so the upper harmonics. Sweep the frequency. We see new harmonic there. Increase it more. Adjust the ratio. Can monitor just the max bass and the original bass and a combination of the two. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series. We've looked at low air, we've looked at our bass, max bass. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Submarine. Hope you guys got something from this. I'll see you again soon.